Hello and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to start working through Lab 1 for this series for CMS. And for today we're going to work through uh, just Task 1 and Task 2. Now for Task 1, uh, we're going to be configuring the IP interface A for the uh, Cisco uh, meeting server. And in Task 2, I'll show you how to upgrade your version of CMS. So let's go ahead and get started uh, with task one. The first thing I'm going to do is log into the vSphere client here. So for my lab environment, I'm going to log in with uh, administrator at uh, vSphere.local. And then I'll put in my password and uh, I'll let that log me in. Now, in case you're not that familiar with vSphere, I'm going to point out a few things uh, as we set this up. First, as you can see in this left-hand column, I have this folder here called uh, vc1.cloud.cisco.com. And then under this folder, uh, I've got my dcloud data center environment. And then uh, after that, I've got a couple of virtual machines, uh, virtual machines that I've already built out. Now, nothing has been done with them, uh, not yet. Uh, they haven't been turned on or, or configured. Uh, remember, I, I mentioned this in Lesson 3. Uh, in Lesson 3, I went over how you will build your VMs. And uh, there, remember, there were five steps to that process. And I said that step six is where we would be picking up in the lab. And, and that's basically uh, where we are now. That's basically what we're doing now. Okay. So if I click on this virtual machine here, we can see that it's powered on. Uh, we, we can, and we know that because uh, we have this little green power button. Uh, it's already been enabled. And of course, the red shutdown button here is available for us to press as well. So we can see that this is already powered on and it's ready for us to configure. So to do that, uh, we want to launch the web console. And that's this next button uh, you, that you see here. And then when we click it, uh, we have the option to do uh, web console or remote. But uh, we're just going to do the web console uh, for today. And uh, for that, we'll just click launch here. And that'll open a new browser window. OK? And so first off, notice that my mouse up here at the top, uh, it doesn't show up when I drag it over the blank screen. And that's because you can't use a mouse in the console window window in uh, CMS. So what I can do to get my cursor, you know, so what, so I can see what I'm typing, uh, I'm just going to come up here to send control alt delete, click that and that'll unlock the screen. And then, and then now you can see uh, the login window for consoling into the CMS server. Now, remember the reason why I have to go into CMS this way, you know, through vSphere is because remember no IP address has been assigned to my server so right now really this is our only option you know this is how you have to do that uh, through the console within vSphere okay so once I've done that once I've assigned it an IP address I can just access it through putty or or a similar console tool so let's go ahead and log in and uh, because this is the first time we're logging in we need to type admin as a username and then the default password on the first login is also admin okay so now it's saying uh, password reset forced by administrator so this is because this is our first login so uh, we have to create a new password so I'll just type something in here uh, maybe Cisco one two three four okay that'll work and of course we have to enter it again just to make sure that we've typed it incorrectly and then uh, Good, so it looks like we're golden here. So we've logged into the console of the Cisco meeting server and notice uh, you know, that it says Akano, you know, this is our prompt to be able to go ahead and start configuring this server, okay? So the next thing we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and configure our interface. Now remember in the last lesson, we talked about how there are four interfaces we could configure, A, B, C, and D. And uh, we're just gonna configure interface A today. So for that, we just type iFace A, and uh, if I just hit enter here, it'll show me all of the information for that interface and, and how it's configured. Okay, so it looks like it's configured uh, to do auto negotiation. Speed is, uh, looks like a gig uh, with full duplex. Okay, so, so we're good here. But instead of having the auto negotiate set to default, uh, we're going to just manually turn it on. So uh, I'm going to type uh, iFace A, 
and then uh, auto neg and then of course on okay so now if I go I face a and then hit enter here notice how that change is reflected in the configuration and by the way, I, I should have mentioned this from the beginning, uh, but if you're ever on an Econo server and you forget a command or need any help, uh, what you can do is just type a question mark and it'll give you a list of commands. Now you could also type a command like uh, I face A and then a question mark. And if you do that, it'll show you the commands that, you know, whatever commands that might come after, you know, whatever it was that you just typed in. Okay. So that's another way to get help. Okay, so uh, at any rate, the next thing uh, that we wanna do is add an IP address to the server. Now, in this case, we're gonna type in IPv4, uh, because that's what we wanna configure for is IPv4, and then A, because this is interface A, and then we're gonna add a new IP address, so we type add, and then uh, the IP address is gonna be uh, 198.1. Dot four two, and then uh, our cider mask, and that's going to be uh, slash sixteen. And then we have to put in the default gateway. Uh, in this case, that's going to be one nine eight dot one eight dot one dot one, and that's it. Now we hit enter here, and uh, notice it gives us a warning. We can ignore that. The interface is actually configured now. And the way that we can confirm that it's configured is uh, what we can do is open up PuTTY and access our server through PuTTY. So if I open it up here from the desktop, uh, I'm just going to pin it to the taskbar here. Notice that CMS is already preloaded in here. And so if I select it from this list and click load, uh, it populates that IP address for me. Okay. And then uh, when I click open, I'll get this little warning here and just click yes, get rid of that and uh, then I'll want to log in as admin. And of course, you'll need to type the new password, the new t password that I created. Uh, I think that was six, Cisco1234, okay? And now I'm logged into my Cisco meeting server. Okay, so from the vSphere client, all you really need to do is you build your VM, which is really just loading your OVA, and then you open this console window here, uh, you know, check the configuration, maybe change it to full duplex or uh, whatever you need, uh, give it an IP address, default gateway, etc. And then after that, uh, from that point on, you can do everything else straight from PuTTY or, or some other similar tool, okay? Okay, now for the second task, task two. I'm gonna show you how you can upgrade your version of CMS. Okay, so starting out, if we open PuTTY here, and uh, at our command prompt, if I type in version, you can see that uh, this one is running 2.8. Now, one really nice thing about upgrading CMS is that it actually, it doesn't matter what version you're upgrading from, or what version you're upgrading to, the process is always gonna be the same. So if you were gonna upgrade from 2.8 to 2.9, let's say, uh, that process would be exactly the same as if you're gonna upgrade from 2.8 to 3.0 or, or even higher. Uh, either way, the process is exactly the same. And, uh, and, and by the way, you can skip versions. Uh, and if you, like from 2.8 to 3.0, you're skipping versions. So uh, if you do that, there's no special process or nothing different that you have to do uh, to go from one version to the next or to skip over versions, okay? So that's really nice. So today, uh, let's see, if I go to my desktop here, what I have is a folder called CMS software, and it looks like I've got version 2.9.1 in here already. Okay, so for this example, I'm gonna demo going from 2.8 to 2.9, and that's, again, that's just because, well, that's, you know, just the version that I have in front of me, but again, if you were going from 2.8 to 3.0, the steps and the process would be exactly the same as what I'm gonna show you here now, okay? So what we wanna do first of all is take this upgrade image that we have uh, here and put it on our Cisco meeting server. And the way you do that is to use some kind of FTP client. And you could use you know, FileZilla or whatever. 
In this case, I'm going to use Win SCP, and I've already got CMS preloaded on here. But uh, you could, of course, you know, just create a new site and, and fill in the appropriate information for your, you know, for whatever your environment is. Uh, but because I, I've already got it preloaded here for me, I'm just going to go ahead and select CMS one. I'm going to click login here and uh, yes to certificate warnings. Okay. And then everything that you see over here on the left, uh, this is my local machine. And then everything that you see on the right here, this is a Cisco meeting server that I just logged into. And so I want to go to my desktop and we're going to go into the CMS software folder and then a Cisco meeting server. And then we'll grab the upgraded image and then we'll drag it over here and drop it into my Cisco meeting server. Okay, so now that we've uploaded the upgraded image here, uh, we can just close that out. We don't need that anymore. And, uh, and now we just need to go back into PuTTY and uh, we're going to have to log in again because it, CMS, it will log us out whenever there's, you know, 30 seconds or more of inactivity. So we've got to log in here again. And so I'll put in my password. Okay, and then all you have to do, uh, this is actually really nice. All you have to do to upgrade uh, CMS is type in one simple command, which unsurprisingly is upgrade, like that. And you can see it's upgrading to image 2.9. It validates the image. It creates a backup to 2.8 automatically. And then after it starts the upgrade, it reboots the server. And uh, because it's rebooting the server, this is why it automatically logged me out just now. Okay, so uh, all we have to do is, is wait just uh, about a minute. Uh, the upgrade happens really quickly. So within just about one or two minutes, uh, it should be finished. And so what we could do here, uh, in fact, what we could do is uh, we could try to ping it first. Uh, 198.18.1.42. And already, already see here we can ping it. So uh, let's go ahead and try to reopen this. Login is admin, password. And that logs us back in. Great. And so if you just type version here, you can see that we're now at version 2.9.1. And that's how easy it is to upgrade. Again, upgrading from and to any version, it's all the same. Okay, that's task one and task two. Look uh, for task three and four coming up here in the next couple of days. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'll see you in the next one. That's it for now. Thanks for watching.